If I was in Nick Cannon's shoes, I would have apologized. Definitely. Because I had to speak my mind when I said about Tyrese, you know, I was telling the story about it, who I thought was gay, and I put him, and I said Tyrese. So, but later I had to apologize because I had agents and everybody on my ass, and, mm. you know, and I was retired at the time. But really, that kind of brought me back out in a sense because it was like, man, you got to apologize. Why man. were they trying to make you apologize? They were just like, it's black on black, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't really talk about no other black dude. And, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talk that out amongst yourself. Like, it's cool if it's just black platforms talking about it. But then the TMZ was calling. And I was on TMZ like twice about that one issue. So it's like, it was like, once the white people got into it, you know, man, come on. It ain't really the same. Yeah, like, come on, apologize, man. So do you, kind of in that scenario, do you agree with Nick apologizing? Well, Nick had to apologize because, A, you, niggas can't speak their mind in America. I mean, they give you this long-ass leash, and then once you kind of, then they smack you in the ass, put you in the cage. and So Nick is too far in. You know, this dude got, like, five shows that he hosts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He, you know, it's different. He is, he is everywhere. Yeah. Like Mr. Stretch Arms. Like, he's everywhere. So that's going to affect him like right away if he didn't do that. Like, so, I mean, I'm not mad that he apologized because he's so far in. Like anybody else would be the sellout, would be a punk ass nigga. But Nick Cannon has to be an exception because he's too far in. You don't think because because I'm on the fence of like, yo, this is my my theory because, you know, it's only a, a theory right. is that. I wish he maybe, what if he didn't apologize and double down on it, on his stance, if you will, and been that's like, true. you know what, that's just how I feel. There's a part of me that um, feels that a certain level of the black audience would appreciate someone sure, sure. being firm, because we don't see it, particularly from our, our male figures, right. to see someone double down. It would have been kind of dope. To have seen that play out and i think that our audience would have rallied behind him even more yeah but uh, and i agree with that i definitely agree with that but again he has so many jobs like how is he gonna like he had to apologize i don't know i could go through we could talk about this forever he had to apologize because what would have happened because he would have stopped a lot of other people from eating like not only was it nick cannon that was being stopped it was dc myself uh chico uh, i mean you know the list goes on and on and on and on everybody that's affiliated with nick cannon we mm -hmm. would have all been looking for work other places because that's a big he feeds a big table mm -hmm. so for him to do that and you know what's crazy I, I never said that out loud but yeah he definitely i have to add that because there's so many people he's brought so many people into this world that yeah, he got to take care of him as much as he can. And if he didn't apologize and didn't go back to work and it was no more wilding out, we can always go on tour. Right. You know, we're on tour now, but uh, starting in May. But, I mean, but that's, you know. I guess, what. but at what point do we eventually get into the mindset of, you know what, we just going to stand on, not saying he didn't stand on principle. Right. But we going to just stand on, like, we going to really hold our nuts on this one. And stop. Feel like you know they can back us in a corner when it gets hot. Man, that's a tough one, man. Because I'm gonna be honest. Uh, being in the matrix myself is like, this is the Jewish guy's game. So if you upset the Jews, you don't work no more. So if you you know unless you can, Tyler Perry, it you know what I'm saying, which is a great thing to do. Uh, Oprah, you know, that if you can go that down that road, Puffy, if you can go down that road, that's great. But mm -hmm. not many can do that. So I, I think it was, I would have apologized if I was Nick. You say you wouldn't and have? I would have. Would have? Because it's, he, it's too many millions he's missing. It's too many. Now, I mean, for the black people and for the culture, and the, I mean, that is kind of bad, but I mean, not on his part, but I would just... He had to apologize, man. I'm just going to keep saying that shit. He, he had, had to, apologize to apologize. He had to apologize. Because there was too many people attached. Too many. 
And too much money law. It would been too many too much See, money left on the table. Cause in my position it's like, you know, I understand the money. I'm just like, but at what point at what point do we say, you know what, fuck that bag real quick. Right. I'm gonna just stand on my like we don't see that and everybody's playing this bag game and it's like at what point do we just stand on like just firm principles? I feel you, man. I just love I just love to see that. I, I would love I don't to see, see that, that too, but I don't see that. But but it's this is a very hard game to play, like two out of a million get to play. So it's like if you're one of those two, man, I would suggest just holding on to it however you can keep it. Do you think the moment was Nick's nigga wake up call though? Definitely his wake up call. Definitely the nigga wake up call. Yeah. Uh, before that, his turban didn't seem as, as offensive. But once he said that, that a turban seemed like, Nick, became you're radical. the one. You know, he had to apologize. I would have too, man. I, yeah. I'm telling you right now, call me whatever you want. But I would have definitely, if I was in Nick Cannon's shoes, I would have apologized. Definitely. Just for, to keep the business going. You got to keep the bag. You see, you got eight kids. You got... His mom, he got brothers and so, yeah, you gotta keep it back. Yeah, gotta keep it back.